화산이 폭발했습니다. 용암과 화산재가 주택가에 쓰나미가 That the world will end in apocalypse. They climbed to the roofs of the houses, but the houses crumbled under their feet. They tried to mount to the tops of the trees, but the trees hurled them from them. They sought refuge in the caverns, but the caverns closed before them. What the scientists are looking out for are the five cataclysmic events most likely to devastate our world. An arc storm, an asteroid impact, a mega quake, a mega tsunami, and a super volcano. Figuring out which disaster is coming next may answer the toughest question of all. How will the world end? They believe the threat is real enough that the public should prepare. An arc storm in California would be catastrophic. We're talking about blackouts. We're talking about mudslides. We're talking about fires. All these things. All at once. Hurricane Katrina, the earthquakes in Haiti and Japan, volcanoes in Iceland and Chile. Our planet is locked in mortal conflict with the forces of nature. The latest federal disaster study predicts that one-fourth of all California buildings will be flooded, some to a depth of 20 feet. To scientists, it's an impact event. To everyone else, it's Armageddon. Lives vaporized in a flash as an asteroid strikes the Earth. Anybody in immediate proximity is going to be literally ripped apart by the blast. The roads, bridges, all these things, hospitals, none of these things would be intact. Up to three miles away, even steel-framed, multi-story buildings will collapse. The crater would pepper the entire surrounding landscape with boulders the size of houses and small buildings. Nothing survives here long. Not even us. Three miles underground, the fault line breaks releasing energy equal to 1,000 Hiroshima bombs. St. Louis, 160 miles from Tiptonville. Population, nearly 3 million. Within 47 seconds of the quake, the gateway arch begins to shake. The tallest man-made monument in the United States 42,000 tons of steel and concrete crash down. Chance of a Midwest megaquake striking within 50 years, one in 10. 
Could this be the next one to strike us? Megaquakes in the Midwest and arc storms in California are just the beginning. The cataclysmic disaster that defies belief. Rising from the sea. Bringing death and destruction to millions. At odds of just 1,000 to 1, this could be the next apocalyptic disaster. A tsunami wave races across the Atlantic at 500 miles per hour, as fast as a jumbo jet. At 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, news breaks in the U.S. The death wave is just eight hours away. But there simply won't be enough time to evacuate a metropolis like New York. Unfortunately, it's not a survivable event. This time, it's not just one state not even five states. Destruction is total along the entire eastern seaboard. Estimated death toll, four million. The mega tsunami could kill more people than any natural disaster on record. The eruption equals 1,000 Hiroshima atom bombs every second. Within hours, the death zone covers a 600-mile radius from Yellowstone. In here, nine of every 10 people die. And that's just the start. All aircraft are grounded as ash blankets three-fourths of the country. Across the continent, volcanic dust causes long-term and deadly lung damage. It's going to basically envelop the entire planet because that ash is going to circle a planet with the jet stream. It's going to affect everything that we do on the planet. So this is as cataclysmic an event as they come. In terms of global geophysical events, this is the big one. With an estimated death toll of more than 100 million, it could be the end of America. But unlike the Mayans, they can't say exactly when the world will end. We could be fine for years, even millennia. But for now, you know the facts. So ask yourself, are you prepared? Oh, no. Mother.